Alrighty. Well, morning, everybody. Um, and in case anyone hasn't noticed, yes, uh, I am doing a pseudo cast here on a Thursday morning. Um, uh, reason being is, uh, I had a, as a, I had a call in last night. Oh, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me, let me stop. Um, start with, I'm gonna crack open a can of V8 Energy, orange pineapple flavored. So, get ready for some pops. Okay, and uh, for the music, uh, let me turn it down to start with. This is going to be called Valar, uh, Towards the Great Unknown. That I've, I've never heard this one before. It was just the first thing that came up on YouTube, so I'm just going with that. Okay, but anyway, um, yeah, I had a call in last night. Reason being is, uh, this is gonna be self-quarantine. Um, I was, uh, I, I wasn't informed of this until the day before, until, uh, or until yesterday, that, uh, my sister came up from Oklahoma, and so I, so, we kind of, it's kind of not, kind of would have been nice to, you know, see her at least once, so what we ended up doing is, uh, I think, uh, yesterday morning, um, I ate it up. Me, my mom, and my sister ate at Applebee's, like, during the lunch rush, and nobody had their mask on, like, including myself, including my sister, including my mom, and, um, uh, because I haven't seen either one of them in a long time, I figure it would have been pretty bad for them to sit here and just, you know, walk in, you know, walk in wearing a mask, despite the fact that I think both of them are fully vaccinated, you know, I didn't want to, wasn't really, didn't really want to get into an argument, argument about COVID and the Delta, the Delta variant and all that. So I just went ahead and not, just decided to not wear a mask. Um, secondly, since we're going to be eating at Applebee's, it, for at least part of the time, it's going to be kind of pointless to wear one anyway, since I'm going to have to take it off in order to eat. So, and again, this is, um, I think we got there at, uh, like 11:30, 11:45 a.m. shortly before the launch rush, when a whole bunch, when a whole bunch of people started filing in. So, okay, one moment. I gotta, I gotta do something real quick. But yeah, again, I haven't, I mean. I haven't seen my mom and my sister in, a, in such a long time. I didn't really want to get into a... I mean, last thing I wanted to do would be to get into an argument about COVID. So... And, uh, from what I understand, the new Delta variant... Um, vaccines are only partially effective now. So, I mean, it, it's, a, it's a new strain of virus. Which you're, um... Which the vaccines we all got may not... Uh, may not be aware, or may not be aware of or again might might only be partially at best or might only work partially at best possibly even not at all so again um since uh since nobody at this applebee's was wearing a mask and i i have no way of knowing who's vaccinated and who isn't or even worse uh i don't know who the anti-vaxxers are you know, they think vaccines are evil and they're a violation of their personal freedom, etc., etc. So, I don't know who who those people are in the... You know, I don't know who those people are in Applebee's, if any. But again, um, I found... And to play it safe, i just going to go ahead and do a... Do cell... Or not, not isolation. Self-quarantine. Yeah, um, my job, Walmart. Um, I believe you can... You have up to... 14 days of COVID leave for stuff like this. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. Uh, probably just take like the... I have to call in three times since my work week is three days. And I forgot to sound test this.
Okay, but but yeah. Otherwise, um, aside from that, it was I had a I had a pretty good time. Um, it's good to see my sister. Like uh, again, I haven't seen her and I haven't seen her in many years. Um, and I'm bam. I think she uh, she like myself. Uh, we work out. Uh, lift weights and stuff. I don't know. I I didn't bother. I didn't bother asking. I think she did mention something about her going to the gym, and it kind of shows too. Her damn arms are almost as big as mine. I'm like, oh wow, <laughs> like she almost looks like a damn female bodybuilder. So I'm, 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 I'm looking at her. I'm, I'm, I'm just tripping off the entire time. I mean, this, you know, this is my sister. You know, she definitely looks like she lifts weights. So yeah, for the longest time, um, I had always known her um, as we, when we were kids. She was fat, you know. She was she was pretty pudgy, but then um, she became bulimic, just probably because of everybody picking on her because of her weight. So I think she just she mentally she just she just said fuck all y'all, and then just uh, got skinny and you know became, you know became bulimic and all that. She she had that for many years. But, but now, like, damn. Let's say she's been uh, pumping some iron. So. <sighs> but yeah, it, but uh, on, on the other hand, too, this isn't, you know, this isn't, this, this isn't really what I would call a vacation, though. I can't. This is a self quarantine in case uh in case I actually did catch the Delta. The the Delta COVID. You know, and like I like I've been doing, if I do have to go out to grocery shop, yes, I'm most certainly wearing a mask. But but again, uh yesterday morning was kinda different. You know, I mean norm I mean I, norm but normally um you know, yesterday, aside from me going, you know, again, as I said before, aside uh, aside from yesterday when I ate at Applebee's with my mom and my sister, I can't recall a time where I actually ate out. I am, for the most part, a homebody. This is especially especially going to be important here in the times of COVID. You know, um, usually if I do go out, it's the grocery shop. And yes, I I definitely wear a mask, but like I said. Um, yesterday, since I'm eating at a restaurant, part of the reason why I didn't wear one is it's kind of pointless. Because for at least part of the time, I'm going to have to take it off in order to eat anyway. So. And th again, this was, uh, shortly before the, uh, before the noontime lunch rush. Is when we were, when we were eating, you know, right around noon, people started filing in. So. But, you know, so, not to mention, I mean, this is probably one of the few times where I actually have to call in for a reason, for a reason other than being hurt. Or, you know, because of having back problems or having shoulder, you know, stuff like that. Just, just the years of wear and tear from doing uh, manual labor for so many years. This is the first time that I can think of where I had to call in for a, re for a reason other than that, you know. So, and I'm really hoping to hell that uh, this uh, music here doesn't get flagged by YouTube. I had that happen yesterday, but I'm kind of out of options too. So, <sighs> you know, I actually uh, I was actually checking out a planet, or I think it was actually a moon called called Ursi or something like that. I was thinking of playing that, but uh, there wasn't any official NASA Voyager footage. Like it was, it was some unknown, unknown YouTuber that I've never heard of. So it, like, but like I've said this before, back when I was uh, back when I was playing uh, Planet and Moon sounds, if it doesn't say NASA Voyager footage, I'm already suspicious of it. I'm thinking it's gonna be like, like you know, ASMR or they're gonna. They're gonna stick some dark ambient music in there, or, or even worse, uh, symphony, 
oh, excuse me, symphony orchestra crap. So, so it was either that, it was either the Ursa planet or this. I just decided to go ahead and go with this. But otherwise, uh, I've still been watching uh, Strong Town's videos, and I'm at a point now where this this guy here, uh, I think his name's Charles Marone, and uh, I guess another another like another nice little thing about him, he's he's a him like myself, also grew up in Minnesota. We're both Minnesotans, so I thought that was a nice plus, you know. Nice to see uh, a big mover and shaker in this country from my own state, not from like, you know, from upstate New York or something like that, you know, so. But uh, I'm also, he's also, uh, he's also done TED Talk shows too. I didn't know that, but I'm at a point now uh, from all the videos I've been watching, the ones that I've been currently been watching now, he's repeating himself. So yeah, that that seems to be um. Now that I think about it, I think that's that's got to be one of the reasons why some celebrities go nuts, or like you know, in the case of Britney Spears shaving her head and then basically going insane, and you know why some celebrities do drugs and all that. It isn't really so much the fame, but I think another part of it too is the repetition. You know, because I mean, you know, Britney Spears is on tour. She's playing the same exact song, doing the same exact dance numbers, etc. In like many, in several different places, not just in one location. She's having to do the same song and dance over and over and over and over and over and over and over. Lots of other bands are like that too. They're playing the same exact songs that they've been rehearsing like crazy in the studio. You know, over and over and over and over and over and over. The repetition just drives them nuts and they get into, you know, alcohol and drugs. So... I think celebrity, celebrities in general are probably like that too. It isn't just the fame and attention that probably bothers them. It's it's having to, you know, having to quote unquote say all the right things in various interviews. You know, have again re constantly repeating themselves everywhere they go. I think so. I think the repetition probably drives them nuts. You know, it it causes a lot of clockwork orange buildup. It gets to a point where they don't want to say it anymore, but they're obligated to, you know, trying to fulfill their media obligations. So yeah, that's that's another that's another unknown price of fame. Repeating yourself. So but but yeah, uh, but it's not, but again, like I was like I was saying before. It's getting to a point now where, where our Charles Marone is, is uh, repeating himself. Um, he's saying things that are very familiar to me from all the other videos that I've watched. So, I think I'm probably uh, I'm probably on a decline with him now. Oh, but um, another thing, another little thing I know, another little thing about him too. Um, I don't know if you guys know heard of this, but it's called uh, Extra Normal. It's a type of uh, it's. It's a text-to-movie program that was popular way back in the day. Strong Towns was using that, too. It's kind of hard to explain. If you've ever seen the kind of videos where, where like, two, two stuffed animal-looking characters, like, talking to each other, like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So you are telling me that you are building a road through your house. Yes. Yes, we are building a road through your house. Because it will, it will help the community. But how will it help my community when I, when you are going to bulldoze my house in order to build a road over it? Well, we will compensate you for one month's rent, and then you can just use that money to go live in an apartment. You know that kind of thing. The the robotic voice, the robotic voices. But yeah, Strong Towns is doing this too. I bet I never would have expected that. I mean, I'm used. I mean, I'm used to. I'm used to like you know, teenage kids or young people or whatnot using this kind of software, but not like a not like a grizzled old city planning vet like this guy. So yeah, that kind of 
He threw me a curveball there. Swing and a miss. But, and also, through Strong Towns, um, I think I said this yesterday, but I, I started checking out another YouTuber named Do Not Eat. Um, he, uh, he started using a, he started playing a game, he was playing a game called, uh, Cities, Skylines, which I'm starting to consider, consider buying and trying out, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna try streaming it. Last I looked, it cost 30 bucks. A wee bit on the pricey side. I mean, and I, and I get on Steam, if you don't like it, you can always request a refund. And, um, and, and every time I do this, they always refund my money, but they're, it's, it's still, it's still, when, if I have to, if I have to shell out a fair amount of money to pay, pay, to pay for a game, I'm always a little skittish. Or, let me, let me rephrase it, let me, let me back up. I'm always a little skittish when I have to pay a fair amount of money for a game. I mean, yes, I know that I, if I don't like it, I can get a refund. But there's, in, there, in the back of my mind, there's, I always think that there's going to be this reason, there's going to be this chance that Steam might reject my refund request because reasons. And I don't want that to be when I spend 60 bucks on a game because that means um, I basically have to eat this game that I purchased. So, you know, I have to eat this game that I can't stand that I just wasted 60 bucks on. I mean, again... City Skylines, the base vanilla game only costs 30 bucks. Kind of gray area, but I might, I'm considering just going ahead and giving that a game a go. Just kind of inspired by Do Not Eat in the video, in the, all the, all the videos that I've been watching of his. It's kind of surprising too. He kind of, kind of sounds like an, like a, old man when I listen to him talk he kind of I kind of envision him being a being an old old man with a bald head and Dumbo ears and um, and wearing a hearing aid and dentures you know that kind of thing but no um I think he's like in his he looks like he's in his 30s probably his late 30s so yeah, that kind of threw me for a loop. So, but yeah, like like I said, I'm gonna, I'll probably still, I'll probably uh, watching more do not eat videos, and less on the strong towns ones now. Cause I think I with now my I pretty much seen all the I pretty much seen all the all the things I'm going to see. So like I, like I said, it's getting to where the videos I'm watching now he's repeating himself. Oh, and one more thing. Um, I watched uh, episode 14 of Dragon Ball. I haven't watched uh, Dragon Ball in a while, so I was kind of, figured I was kind of overdue. <laughs> Here, back to me and Pedo Perv. Old Master Roshi, dirty old man. Um, yeah, and he'll he'll he's a martial arts master, and he'll even teach you. All you gotta do is either bring him a girl, or bring him a hot girl, or a nudie mag. So yeah, all this in a rated PG kids show. But I'm probably gonna be repeating myself here, but uh, Dragon Ball was one show that definitely surprised me. Um, a, a few months ago, when I when I was playing uh, Dragon Ball Fighters. I was actually expecting, uh, um, I think I had some, uh, bad experiences. I know Skullgirls was one. I think there was at least one more fighting game that I tried out, but I wasn't into. Mostly because for aesthetic reasons. I was expecting Dragon Ball Fighters to be more of the same. I was just gonna start playing it, and I'm like, oh my god. Man, oh, this is awful. Jeez, man, I'm not a twelve. I'm not a twelve-year-old anymore. I can't get into this, you know that kind of thing. But no, I liked it. No, I liked the aesthetics. I mean, granted, there's a few, there's a few awkward moments here and there, but overall, it's it's watchable. Like I said, I was totally surprised. So yeah, but and it just kind of inspired me to start uh, start watching Dragon Ball. Uh, started with the first season and just working my way up. 
but yeah, but uh, once again, this is a total surprise. Again, I was expecting uh, I was expecting to be watching, trying to watch Dragon Ball. It's like, oh my freaking god, oh, oh my god, man, this is this is definitely a show for twelve year olds. Jesus Christ, man, you know that kind of thing. But nope, nope, it's good stuff. So, total surprise. But otherwise, um, I will just go ahead and not call it. Good. I'll just go ahead and call it good here. Um, just I pretty much said all the things I wanted to say this morning. So, so um, but otherwise, hey, thanks for tuning in, and listening to me, everybody. And um, uh, unless I have a major change of heart and decide to go back into work, uh, which I kind of doubt, but you never know. Um, I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow morning. But until then, thanks again for coming by, everybody, and see you all next time. Take care.